Volcanoes have been a source of fear and fascination for centuries. Humanity has respected, revered, and even worshipped the world's volcanoes, while cowering from what nature could do to them. Even now, in our age of logic and technology, we find ourselves at risk of their immense power and the danger it holds over our mortal lives. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three extraordinary volcanoes and their prominence in our modern day. Hawaii's Kilauea volcano turned into a boiling lake. Possibly one of the most infamous volcanoes on this earth, the Kilauea is an active shield volcano in Hawaii. It is also one of the five great volcanoes which make up the Hawaiian island. The estimated age of Kilauea is said to be between 210,000 and 280,000 years old. Kilauea is so active that its most recent eruption began at the end of December 2020 and concluded recently on the 23rd of May 2021. It has been erupting on and off since the early 1980s and caused destruction to businesses, buildings and lives. Kalapana and Kemu are two towns that suffered greatly during eruptions and in 2018 the Puna eruption caused 2,000 residents to evacuate their homes due to the danger of both the Puna lava events and the wide-scale earthquakes, which combined caused one overwhelming disaster. The Puna eruption is not the topic of today's occurrence, however. Instead, we will be discussing something far more recent, though it is connected to the Puna eruption. During the May 2018 eruption, lava destroyed several rivers and a natural freshwater lake. Hawaii was consumed by chaos. In December of 2020, another eruption that began in the exact same place caused a peculiar phenomenon to occur. The idea of a lava lake, though amazing, sounds believable enough. Except lava did not simply fill an already empty pit of land during the eruption. It turned a water lake into a fiery hole. The lava first proceeded to boil the water from the lake, which had managed to grow in size for a little over a year. Since then, the lava flowed into the remaining earth crater, filling it and replacing the soothing waters that once inhabited the basin. The total depth of the lava was recorded to be 180 meters by the end of 2020. The volcano only started to cease in early 2021, but the level of lava increased to 225 meters by the end of May. Now the lava in the lake has subsequently cooled down and is no longer burning, but the life that once called this place home no longer resides there. Spectacular 45-foot-tall ice volcano appears in Kazakhstan When you think of a volcano, you rarely think of ice. The two concepts seem as far removed from each other as possible, and yet an ice volcano recently formed in Kazakhstan. The temperatures in Kazakhstan can reach unimaginable levels of freezing cold, especially in the winter months up until the start of spring, and this creates the ideal environment for thick ice to layer up and create an ice volcano. The volcano is hollow. It is a tall 45-foot structure of ice and snow. The name comes from its resemblance to the lava-spitting, fear-inducing types of volcanoes we are used to, though the name is deceiving as these are a different natural phenomenon. Ice volcanoes are mounds of ice that typically form on top of the surfaces of lakes after water erupts or spills on the ice sheets during winter. The liquid flows and freezes in the ice cracks and increases in width and height over the course of hours, weeks or months. Researchers have said that an ice volcano with enough energy can be formed within mere hours but they are also delicate and can easily be destroyed in storms or if there's an increase in temperature. It is possible for ice volcanoes to form at sea, provided that the water is frozen subsequently, though this is incredibly rare. Once this happens though, the depth of the ocean or sea is enough to allow the ice volcano the ability to grow even taller and stronger than it would have in a pond or hot spring. This does not happen on shores, due to the abundance of other oceanic plant life siphoning the wave energy required to create these volcanoes. Although some ice volcanoes can come close and icy slush can erupt nearer to the coast and make a small mound. 
The ice volcano from Kazakhstan originated from a hot spring. The water from it froze after the hot water spurted from inside it and it solidified as it fell back towards the ground. This process continued until it created a stunning formation. This is far from a once-in-a-lifetime occurrence as these ice volcanoes tend to form each winter in Kazakhstan and it seems that they never fail to draw the attention of occasional tourists as well as the locals who travel to see them. Those who go to visit ice volcanoes should be wary, as although they are not as lethal as flowing lava, tourists often walk on the ice to get closer to the structures and the ice around these mounds tends to be thin and brittle, which can end with the individual falling underneath the ice and becoming stuck in the water. Not to mention that getting too close during an eruption of a hot spring-based ice volcano might result in bodily harm. Kazakhstan is not the only place you can find ice volcanoes as they can also happen in the US, especially in the region of the Great Lakes. When winter strikes and the frost hits, the lake's water can flow above the ice sheets coating the surface, and over time they form a gradual icy bump which can, with time, turn to small icy mountain-like structures. Lake Erie and Ontario are the most common places within the United States where this happens. The phenomenon is not dangerous and yet its beauty showcases just what nature is capable of and how there is glamour even in the bitterest cold of winter. In 2016, scientists spotted a structure resembling an ice volcano on the surface of Pluto. This has not yet been confirmed, but if it is an ice volcano, it is overwhelmingly big, measuring in at 90 miles wide and 2.15 miles high. Swarm of 20,000 earthquakes could make Iceland's volcanoes erupt. As of late, Iceland has experienced an abundance of earthquakes and endured a lot of seismic activity, which experts fear might awaken the ancient volcanoes of the nation. Over 20,000 earthquakes have been recorded by scientists at the Icelandic Meteorological Office since February 2021, which caused an immense number of problems for citizens of the country. The majority of the earthquakes average to a magnitude of three, though some are higher. This at least means that they are not catastrophic but can be felt and cause moral unrest, with much fear of the magnitude potentially rising as this strange occurrence continues. Iceland has a history of volcanic eruptions resulting from earthquake-like activity, heightening stress about it happening again. The Reykjanes Peninsula is most at threat, with most seismic activity happening there. The peninsula is at an orange level, meaning that it is likely to erupt. The Icelandic government confessed that there have been pulses of volcanic activity occasionally occurring since February, and this has been at an increased rate, the most notable of which occurred near Mount Kailir. But the Scientific Council for Civil Protection stands by their statement that there is no evidence of magma incoming. Although it's important to note that when this comes to volcanic activity, things can change instantaneously. An eruption, should it happen, would place the surrounding areas under great danger. Even if scientists are estimating it to only be a small eruption, it would result in undoubtable property damage from lava. There is also the potential for scientific estimation to be faulty and an impromptu eruption could be far worse than assumed. Ash could also lead to a massive problem for Iceland's tourism industry and cause issues for world aviation as well. Despite the potential risks, the Icelandic Prime Minister seems confident in Iceland's preparation for natural disasters, remarking that the country would know exactly what to do in such a situation. When interviewed about the matter, the Prime Minister stated, Iceland has highly trained, educated and experienced professionals in this area. Most importantly, the Icelandic public is used to dealing calmly with many different types of natural events related to the weather or geology. Volcanoes have power over us, just as other forms of natural disasters do. Hurricanes, tornadoes, cyclones, it is just a reminder of our mortality and limitations against the strength our planet holds. Beautiful, yet so dangerous, he could steal the lives of millions and can destroy half a nation with enough determination. It is no wonder that our ancestors respected nature.
But what do you make of these three natural volcano discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.